This is Sue Kaufman, and I'm a phys ed teacher and a certified personal trainer. And I'm here with you for part four of Trick Yourself Thin. Part one, we talked about how to use container sizes to eat less. Part two, uh, we learned that working harder for your food equals eating less. And in part three, we learned to fight distracted eating. So if you haven't watched parts one, two, or three, take a look at those. There's lots of good tips and tricks for you there. All right. Now today, uh, we're going to talk about one of the places that people have the most trouble when they're trying to not overeat. So people will say, well, I do okay when I'm at home, but it all falls apart when we go out to eat. And you know that that can be a problem. Well, tip number one, portions are big. Whenever you go out to eat, almost every place you eat in this country, the portions are way oversized. So split an entree, get one, split it with someone else that you're with. Or the take home box becomes your best friend. So get a take home box before you even start to eat, ask for a box, put half of your entree in it, put it out of sight because out of sight means out of mind, harder to get. So you won't eat as much. Eat what's left on your plate and take the rest home. It makes a great lunch or a dinner later on. Also, you can get an appetizer as a meal because most of the appetizers you get in most restaurants uh, are meal size. So you can actually have those for a meal. It's cost less and it's smaller. Tip two, dessert. Skip it or split it. The first two bites are always the best anyway. So a split dessert is probably the best dessert. Uh, number three. Do not pig out on the bread. If you go to a restaurant and they bring you a bread basket, um, have them take it away after you have one piece or cover it up with a big napkin that's in the basket, out of sight, hopefully out of mind. And number four, appetizer, a caloric drink or dessert, pick one. So with your entree, have one of those. If you have all three, you're really adding the calories to your meal and you're going to go away from the table just absolutely stuffed and you won't want to move. So pick one of those and you can always have water. No calories in water or black coffee or unsweetened tea. Now, if you liked the tips you got in the last four videos, then uh, here's a book you can look for on Amazon.com. It's called Mindeth Eating. It's by Brian Wansick. And he is a PhD and did a lot of the studies that um, came up with these tips and tricks. No, I'm not getting a dime to uh, talk to you about this book. I just really, really like it. And I think that you can get a lot of information out of this book. And the last thing I'd like uh, is to ask, ask you to uh, share this. If you really felt that this helped you, please share it. Uh, there'll be uh, a little link here on the bottom of the video that you can send to friends and they can sign up to get the four part video series too. So thanks for joining me. I hope you got some tips and tricks that you can use to avoid mindless eating and use those tips and tricks to your advantage. Thanks, and I'll see you later. Happy eating.